Hello there. This will be a huge blow to Russia, its navy and its president, Vladimir Putin. Whether by Russian accident or by Ukrainian design, the Russian Black Sea Fleet flagship Moskva is damaged and sinking. And the Russians are acknowledging that their Black Sea flagship, the Moskva, a Slava-class guided missile cruiser, is seriously damaged and that its crew had abandoned ship just off the Ukraine coast near the port of Odessa that there are reports of the whole crew being evacuated indicates just how serious that damage is and the loss of command and control will be significant. The Russians say it was a fire that set off ammunition, but the Ukraine government is claiming they fired two Ukrainian-developed Neptune anti-ship missiles at it. The Moskva is the ship made infamous for firing on Ukraine soldiers on Snake Island after they told the ship to, um exit the scene in no uncertain terms. The Times quotes Alessio Patalano, Professor of War and Strategy at King's College in London, as saying, Ships operate away from public attention, and their activities are rarely the subject of news, but they are large, floating pieces of national territory, and when you lose one, a flagship no less, the political and symbolic message, in addition to the military loss, stands out precisely because of it. Now, there are two other Russian warships in the Slava class, the Marshal Ustinov of the Northern Fleet and the Variag of the Pacific Fleet but reports suggest they had been deployed to the Mediterranean in support of Putin's Ukraine operation. But one may well now be on its way to replace the Moskva at the head of the Black Sea Fleet. Another of the Slava class, the Ukraina, lies moored and unfinished in a shipyard in Mykolaiv, Ukraine, and it is owned by Ukraine. Now, there had been plans to get this vessel operational, but for that they may well have required Russian assistance, so I think there's little chance of the Ukraina coming into play in this particular conflict. As well as this Ukraine war, the Moskva itself had been involved in the 2008 South Ossetia war and Syria in 2013. Anyway, as retired US Navy captain and former director of operations at the US Pacific Command's Joint Intelligence Center, Carl Schuster told CNN, only the loss of a ballistic missile submarine or the Kuznetsov, which is Russia's only aircraft carrier, would inflict a more serious blow to Russian morale and the Navy's reputation with the Russian public. Needless to say, this will not go down well with Putin, the Kremlin or the Russian people.